the end of a relationship. He refused to pay me back, so I submitted his information to the IRS for tax evasion because he decided to cheat on me after telling me he had never paid his taxes. <sighs> I would do that. That is something I would do because it's not like physically harming the person. <laughs> but bitch, you gotta pay your taxes. Bye. Like, no, 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 no. Breakups, breakups. They suck. They suck. Like, literally. Today, on The Daily Reaction, I, Sarah Carvello, am going to be reacting to some of the pettiest things people have done after a breakup. Let me know if you've done any of these things. Let's get right into it. What is the pettiest thing you've done after the end of a relationship? Tell me about it. He sent me an invitation to his wedding with the girl that he cheated on me with. Just Ew. to piss me off. But Ew. I wasn't mad at all. No, no, no. I went to that what wedding. Did you do? And I brought two dates. I brought two? her ex-boyfriend and the guy that she was cheating on my ex with. They are now uh, this is a big orgy of cheaters. That wedding must have been so awkward. You know when they get to the part where they're like, if anyone believes that these two should not be married, speak now or forever, hold your peace. That, that is when you get up and you're like, no, 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 this wedding can't happen because he cheated on me with her and then she cheated on him with him and we're all here today to testify to the fact that this marriage is not gonna work. Or you could just sit there and be awkward and like secretly resent the person. That's probably the more likely situation. For the end of a relationship. So I was dating this guy who broke up with me after like two months and he was okay. obsessed with taking baths in his jetted tub. So when I gave him the box of his stuff back, I also threw in a bath mob that was full of glitter and I took the label off so he couldn't read it. And, um, <laughs> He wasn't really happy, and he was texting me how upset he was to go to work covered in glitter, and I just responded to all of his text messages with pictures of Edward from Twilight, and then I covered his entire gravel driveway in a big thing of glitter. Wow. So that every time he walks in his house, he tracked glitter in, and then um, I also put his phone number in to the eHealth website for um, health insurance quotes, and he probably got 200 phone calls, and I also decorated his house with happy birthday um banners because he forgot to call me on my birthday and now we're married and having a baby what <laughs> no <laughs> that was the <laughs> i was about to be like this girl is crazy like how far how how much of an extent did you go to like i would have stopped at the glitter bath bomb like that's hilarious enough but mind you why wouldn't he just take a shower after being covered in glitter, that would help wash it off. I mean, help not solve the issue completely. But you married! You married and you have a kid? You've done after the end of a relationship. Okay, this was not me. It was my friend. She was cheated on, obviously. And the woman that uh, cheated with her boyfriend mm -hmm. and her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend were now getting married. Yeah, it so happens. What did she do? She waited for a week before the wedding because some of her friends were going to this wedding. They had mutual friends. That's how they met. And okay. found out details about the wedding. Right. And she called the caterer pretending to be the bride and canceled all of the catering. She then called the DJ pretending to be the bride and canceled the oh, DJ. Oh, crap. So they came their wedding day and they did not have catering or a DJ. It's really bad. But can you, though? Like, that is so messed up. I feel like as a DJ in a catering company, you would go through many lengths, like questioning and making sure that this is actually the bride. Like you'd probably want to speak to them in person. That is so messed up though. To the end of a relationship. He refused to pay me back. So I submitted his information to the IRS for tax evasion because he decided to cheat on me after telling me he had never paid his taxes. <sighs> I would do that. That is something I would do because it's not like physically harming the person. <laughs> but bitch, you gotta pay your taxes. Bye. Like, no, 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 no. I found out he was cheating on me, so I put cat litter in between his sheets and his mattress. And I do mean like soiled cat litter ah! from his cat's litter box. 
And then I waited outside his basement window because his bedroom was in the basement. Right. And waited for him to bring the girl over. It took about like an hour and a half, two hours. He had showered and everything. Told me he was in the shower. I did this all while he was in the shower, by the way. He knows I did this now. And I waited and listened until they both started screaming. Ugh. And I texted him to go F himself. And then okay. I hit up his dad and sent him a bunch of nudes. But then his mom found out and got mad. What? And threatened to send his sister to beat my ass. But then instead, his sister and I started dating. But then what? she cheated on me and got pregnant by a dude. And thought that we were going to raise the baby together. He's like married and happy now, so I guess there's that. This is like one of those stories that completely goes in the direction that you didn't expect. Like, why are you sending nudes to the dad? The mom is calling you, threatening to beat you up. Then the sister comes to beat you up, but somehow thinks you're hot, so then she's gonna date you, but then cheats on you, gets pregnant, comes back after you, I wanna be with you. What? What is the pettiest thing you've done after the end of a relationship? So, originally, I was going to give my ex his clothes back, all folded and washed. No. But then I charged his Apple Watch and found all the messages of him <sighs> texting other girls. And I found out that he cheated on me. So, I Damn. basically poured a bunch of that fine glitter into all the layers of his clothes. This girl with the glitter. Alongside my favorite perfume. Yeah. And my best friend's roommates helped me smash his Apple Watch. And... Yeah. We're not on good terms. Smashing the Apple Watch? That's a bit too far, girl. You should have just cleared it and kept it. Cleared it and kept it. The clothes? Covering them in glitter? I would have bleached those things, man. Bleach it up, bleach it up, bleach, like spot bleach. All the tie-dye, all the tie-dye. Then cut little holes in them. I mean, that's essentially what you were going for, was for them to never be able to be used again. I find the glitter to be a little bit of a cop-out. It's too easy. It's too easy and obvious. Just pour some glitter on there. The Apple Watch, though, you dirty. That You did him dirty. That was savage. E. that poor little precious watch had nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah. This might not be as petty as everyone else's, Okay. But still a very proud moment for me. So when my ex-boyfriend broke up with me, a yeah. week later, mm -hmm. he already gets back together with his old girlfriend that he was dating before me. Ah, uh, serial but monogamist. But he still had one of my shirts. And I fucking love that shirt. Okay. I was getting that shirt back. Ask but for I didn't it. really want to talk to him, see her, do okay. any of that. So I just pulled up to his house when I knew he wasn't there. Knock on the door. His grandfather. Grandfather. Me in. Um, I go up to his room. My shirt is exactly where I left it. They hadn't moved it. But while I was there, I took my perfume. It was Love Spell at the time. Of okay. Course. I don't know what the heck that um, is. And I sprayed it. Of course. Everywhere. Yeah. Fucking over everything. Okay. All over his pillow. All over his blankets. Ooh. All over his clothes. New girl gonna be jealous. All over her stuff. Eee. I found her like very loved clearly had forever childhood stuff animal what and did i you just do? basically poured this perfume out. i didn't like pour it pour it but i doused it in this Ugh. because i knew every night she was gonna have to sleep with this thing smelling like me and she's not gonna want to wash it because who washes those it felt really good and i got a really angry text that night <laughs> i bet you did still one of the best things i've ever done Listen, I don't think it's, I mean, it's petty. It's petty because, again, you don't know what fault the girl has in this situation. Your boyfriend is the one who broke up with you and then a week later got back with this girl. Obviously, he was talking to her. Did she know that you existed? Who knows? I like it. You covered the stuff in perfume. Perfume will eventually go away after a long time. What is the pettiest thing you've done after the end of a relationship? Wow, I am so glad you asked. <laughs> so I had an ex who cheated mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. And just before we broke up, I took a pouch of tuna, cut it open, and put it in the seat, like between the seat cover and the actual seat of his car. Uh, um, and then I zipped the cover back up, and went on my merry little way. Was stay, it summertime? Yeah. Stay, Do I know when he found it? No. No. I don't know. 
Ooh. Um, do I still smile about it to this day? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Because can you imagine the smell? Ooh. That is disgusting. I can just imagine him like going nuts, searching through his car. And the last place you're thinking to look is underneath your seat protector or seat cover but like man ew like there must have been flies in there like maggots like just nastiness and like my question is you're sitting on the seat like wouldn't that tuna have like the oil from the tuna just like seeped through the seat cover 